Okay, so let me tell you this. If you're in Egypt and you overstay your visa, you do have to pay a fine. Hi guys, Matrell on a mission here, and today I am sharing my experience flying business class on both Turkish Airways and Qatar Airways. Now, this particular flight went from Hergada to Istanbul. It is the short flight, it's only two hours and 50 minutes. We did get one meal on this flight, and as you can see, I am vibing. Um, the flight was roomy, it was just two seats, um, plenty of room and great music selection. I appreciated that. So yeah, we did get breakfast. It was just a traditional European style breakfast with your cheeses, your vegetables, and a rolled meat. Um, it had a really hard pastry <laughs> that wasn't that great, but everything else was pretty tasty. And those little salt and pepper shakers just cracked me up. Um, the eggs though were a little under for me, so I couldn't eat those, but I did enjoy everything else. And the views were spectacular. So now I am entering into the long haul part of the trip. So this is the flight from uh, Istanbul to Atlanta. And um, yeah, so it's a really nice size pod, nice and roomy. Um, I started the flight off with a welcome drink, which made me very happy. I had orange juice and a little bit of champagne. Um, it was nice and roomy. And um, they gave me a really nice um, appetizer, as well as the oil seasoning and butter for the bread which was absolutely delicious um, the appetizer was good as well especially that little lamb ball <laughs> and the champagne had a really great flavor too um, next up they gave us soup and a really nice salad as the second course and then the third course were the lamb chops and they were a little understated but the beet the beet combination and the um, squash was very good but the piece de resistance was this darn cheese platter. Loved, loved, loved it. Um, the blue cheese was absolutely fabulous and went so well with the figs. Um, the fruit was nice and, and sweet as it should be. Um, it also had hard and soft cheeses, a really hard Parmesan, and then some brie and chamomile cheese. And yeah, it was just very good. And then after my amazing meal, I was able to get some sleep. Um, it was very comfy and then the next morning they woke us up for breakfast and the breakfast was good. I had like smoked salmon which is one of my favorite things. It had a cake um, and some greens with it. it very tasty. Fresh squeezed orange juice. I was a happy camper. Um, the landing was a little bit rough but we made it and that's all that counts. I made it to Atlanta. So thank you Turkish Air. Hello guys, I'm going home. And I'm happy about that, so. Just so close. But um, yeah, and I'm taking Qatar Airways this time for the first time, so I'm excited to see how this flight turns out. So these items are for sleeping in my pajamas on my flight and I will be wearing those because I want to keep my clothes fresh for when I get um, to my destination. So that's that. I'm not a happy camper now because when the I had bought something at the duty free shop and they told me at the counter when I checked in it said you have to pick it up after you get to the flight so I have to get to the plane. I get to the plane and they tell me oh, it's going to get delivered. I've asked the guy five times. I said this is a gift. I need to get it. And then he comes to say oh I'm sorry um, there was a problem with security. 
So they didn't give it to me. And he said, he's gonna tell the supervisor. And I'm supposed to do something on the other side. I got a 45 minute layover. What am I gonna do? So basically I'm just lost the money, but more importantly, I didn't get the gift that I had committed to getting. And that misses me off. So there's nothing I can do about it now. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let it ruin my flight, but it's disappointing. Guitar, you gotta do better. The snacks came in and I had some sea salt chips and then they gave me this really awesome truffle, salted truffle popcorn. So yummy. I had my bubbly and more nuts. And the other cool thing was is that they gave you your um, amenities packet in a box. It looks like it was perfume. I thought it was perfume at first. <laughs> but it was really just, um, you know, your toothbrush, your washcloth and all those things in there but this right here these wipes were very refreshing um, the best towels I've ever had on any airline Okay, let's talk food. So on my long haul flight, they started off with an amuse bouche. The shrimp was absolutely delicious. Um, the second course was appetizers. Every one of them had the proper garnish. They were the right temperature. Very flavorful, very delicious. Totally impressed. You can definitely tell they have chefs working um, on these flights, okay? Uh, my chicken was done very well, very tender, moist, delicious just delicious uh, my favorite part was this cheese board you guys oh my god that cheddar blue cheese i haven't had that since i went to the uh, cheese factory in wisconsin back when i was a culinary instructor and i was just really impressed by it uh, my bubbly was absolutely delicious everything about this flight was good honestly um food wise and the music <laughs> i did whitney um, this leg. Uh, the next morning, they woke me up and gave me another delicious breakfast, uh, just expertly prepared. Beautiful breads, juices, fresh squeezed, coffee, very mild and delicious, fruit, seasonal, on point. The main course was an omelet cooked to perfection, some sausages, spinach, potatoes, and actually beans with tomatoes. And I don't even eat beans like that, but they were delicious, so I ate them. Made it. My second flight went from Doha to Cairo. And you guys, I had one meal on this flight, and it too was good. Look at these dates, huge, juicy delicious as they should be okay so the meal on the second flight was still delicious it started off with an amuse bouche that was shrimp a shrimp cocktail and then it had like a panna cotta type dish with a creme brulee like top it was very good 
And then I had a mixed grill with tomates. So it had lamb, beef, and chicken um, with the stewed uh, tomatoes. Very good, very tasty. And as you guys can see, there's a huge difference in quality between these two airlines. Who's the winner, Qatar Airways or Turkish Air?